What's the first day like writing a screenplay for you when you when you have these different ideas in mind? Uh, That's Starlet, funny. Take out Bec because today was basically one of those days. Oh, great! That Perfect. I timing. just got off the phone before you came over. Um, you know, I I can't even. I mean, I it's just throwing ideas around at first. And Chris Bergash, who co-wrote Starlet and Tangerine, he's wonderful at you know note taking. So he's there typing away just compiling every note possible into something I don't know even know what he's typing what you know simple text or something he's just t compiling all these notes so the first day is really just us brainstorming spitballing ideas right but but there must be something in you that's like okay I think I'm ready to commit a good two plus maybe years of my life to this and so you you're, uh, you're already set on the idea yeah and you you, you know that you want to do it so then your sort of stream of consciousness thinking and he's taking notes. And then at some point, how do you formulate that into like a first page? Uh, that's really hard to say because it it's over the course of many months, you know. So I, I, I think there, there's a point where there are enough notes down on page and you, you understand your story enough where it's time to start writing those pages. So. Uh, I might write a page, he'll write a page, we'll start sharing them. I know that we used, uh, for both films I think, we used Google Drive and we were sharing a lot that way. You know, we also go about it where we eventually get to a point where we, we have the, um, the post-its on the wall. And that, that, that's when you, when you actually can get a film or your idea, or your you know, your script, um, up on the wall, and like with hundreds of post-its, and it makes sense from beginning to end. I think that's when we decide to start assigning each other pages and scenes. So we'll say, okay, look at that scene. I think I got a handle on that scene. I'll take that. Can you take that one? Because I don't have a handle on that one. And then we we share them, and then we start to compile this thing, and uh, that's how that's that's how that's done. <laughs> What would you say is the most important part of the screenwriting process for you? Whether it's creating that conflict, whatever, 10 minutes, half hour in to the opening, whatever it is. Mm. The third act. Yeah, that's really a difficult question. Um, would you say you know the ending? I almost always know the endings of every one of these movies before we even set down the road to you know to start breaking it breaking it out point by point i mean i knew the ending of starlet i knew the ending of tangerine i know the ending of the next film um so that's because i just i i think endings are very important to me um prince same goes for prince of broadway and takeout so with all of them i knew the ending was almost more important than the beginning this is the first time I'm thinking about this sort of stuff, so, so uh, I haven't been asked these questions before. So, uh, but yeah, no, I think it's actually I focus more on the last scene and the impact the last scene will have. That's almost one of the first things I think about. You know, with Tangerine, it was the only thing we thought about when I went to, you know, to start our research process. Um, Chris Bergash and I uh, went to the corner of Santa Monica and Highland and we started introducing ourselves to people, et cetera, you know, just telling them what we we're going to do. When we finally found Maya and Kiki, I said, I only have like a few ideas here. And one of them is, well, first off, uh, uh, it has to take place on one day because we have a limited budget and costume changes cost money and continuity cost money easier to shoot in a, tw in a, f a film that takes place in a 24-hour period of time. The second one is that I think people are coming together or someone's trying to find somebody else or whether that's a love story or a revenge story, I don't know. And the third is this ending. I know I can see the ending. I can see all my characters converging at the end at donut time in a big climactic scene. Those were the only things I saw going into it. So it's funny. Yeah, it's funny you say funny you bring that up. The endings are very important to me because it's about how the audience leaves the theaters, you know. I, I, I think very much so about the impact of that last scene. 
if you think I, I look at my favorite films and my favorite films are like uh, Harold and Maude and when he's walking away at the end after you know the the car goes over the cliff and you think he might be in it but then he's up on the cliff and he's with his, his banjo uh, you have um, you know some most of my favorite films have such um, incredibly memorable lasting scenes that have an impact on the audience as they're sitting there during the final credits and I think that that's something I'm always conscious of it's it's it's, it's the most important thing for me in a screenplay